Hey everybody, Jason here from the Mac and Tech community bringing you another podcast. So I'm going to do a podcast about UPS. No, not the shipment or the people that postal service, whatever it is, like FedEx or whatnot. Not that UPS. I'm talking about UPS. Uninterrupted power supply. I'm going to give you some information in regards of if you're interested or thinking of investing in a UPS for your computer. What it is is a UPS is essentially battery backup so when the power goes out it usually provides you enough time to you know shut down your computer or have it shut down on its own. Now what I recommend is to get an APC. I've always been happy with APC. I bought my first um, UPS, and it was an APC UPS about maybe three or four years ago. And then I got a second one uh, about maybe a few months after that. And I still have them, and they still work. APC's always been a great um, manufacturer in uh, battery backup. And actually, the other day, I just bought another one. This one is um, a 550 VA. It says it's supposed to supply up to 48 minutes. Um, computer shutdown time but on my computer it says I have 27 um, basically here's the question is a UPS what you need something to invest in I say yes absolutely because if the power goes out if you have a surge if you have a spike anything that can damage your computer I know that if um, sometimes if my computer goes off um, if I pull unplug it or something and I've had before in the past, before I had a UPS, and the power went off, it came back on, sometimes Windows would not work correctly. Now, I eventually was able to correct the problem, um, tinkered around with a couple things and then rebooted. But what it can do is you can actually suffer data loss if your power goes out and it's not UPS or it takes a hit. So what I'd say is if you can, invest in a UPS. I paid about 80 bucks for this. This was the next one up. They had a 350. I got the 550, um, so you know I could potentially have more time. Now, what they're really good for is some areas. Um, some people in certain areas might end up having temporary power outages as short as five minutes or thirty seconds. I know around here that happens a lot. And having UPS, which I have, um, I have them hooked to. I have my hooked to my server downstairs and then uh, my modem and my router downstairs I have a uh, UPS underneath my feet that powers my stream computer and the DV camera and then I have this um, 550 VA the other two that I just mentioned underneath um, one underneath my foot and one downstairs is a 350 anyways I have the 550 hooked up to my main computer um, I don't have the screens hooked up perhaps I should um, and what it does is that the power goes out for let's say five minutes well usually it'll power my equipment for more than five minutes even thirty seconds a lot of time our power will go out for like a split second and um, you know when you're typing something up and you're chatting with people and all of a sudden the power just flickers like that goes off and then back on you're not very happy I know that I've ran into that before where you know just you just get so angry Urgh. anyways I have that hooked up to my router, my modem, my my routers and my modems, and my two computers. So I got three UPSs. That way, if the power does go out, what I can do is if it comes on before the the UPS is actually, you know, shut down because they, the battery gets exhausted, you're draining the battery, um, which is most cases around this area. Power doesn't stay off for long. I can maintain an internet connection with the power off which is really great especially with my laptop essentially um, what I would do is when I got my laptop is I had the UPS hooked up to the router and modem because if um, the power went out what I would do is I could just go on the internet through my laptop since it was Wi-Fi and it has its own built-in batteries um, that way I could access the internet well now I have UPS's here and stuff that way if the power does go out for a short period of time um, the UPS's I have for the server downstairs runs about 20 minutes it depends on your load and then um, about 10 or 15 minutes on the 350VA that runs a stream and the, the web the DV cam and then um, 27 minutes for the quad core computer which is on the 550VA 
So that gives me enough time to be able to shut down. I can ha I have it set up to auto shut down and everything. So it's really good to have one of those because you never know. If you have a spike, if you have a power overload or underload, as you know, you could say that too, underload. If the power goes below a certain voltage, uh, the UPS will kick in. So it'll keep your. There's like different levels of settings. There's high, medium, and low. Low being the lowest setting, medium, and then the high, the highest protection. So if the voltage goes below a certain level, um, the UPS will kick on. If it goes too high, the UPS will kick on. Keep in and make you know ensuring that your equipment is protected. Now you can plug in other things to it if you want. You could plug in a fluorescent light, which would last a long time on the 550 VA, a small TV and whatnot. Um, even your alarm clock, you can find other things to plug them into. They're not just geared to computers, but it's nice to have your computer on one, um, just in case that happens. So that way you're safe, and then you know the computer can shut down, and all your data is saved. Even Hibernate is what I suggest. If you get one, set it to Hibernate, not standby or shut down. But if you can Hibernate it, Hibernate it, because then you just turn your computer back on um, once it shuts down, and the power's back on, and whatnot, and then you're you're exactly where you were. For the price range, I paid about 80 bucks for this, the 550 VA, and then I paid, um, I, you can get the 350 VA for about 50 or 60 dollars. Now that's in my area. It varies from area to area. I bet if you were to go directly to APC and in order there, you know, you'll get that cheaper. Now this does come with three years warranty. So if the battery has a malfunction or something goes wrong, they'll replace it for free. They'll send you a whole new unit. And uh, they also guarantee that um, lifetime connected, $75,000. So if something went wrong with the UPS and it damages your equipment, as long you know, since you've had the product and it's been plugged into the product, they'll replace all your equipment or provide repairs and stuff, which is pretty good. APC... Um, they're they're really great. I totally recommend them. They're top of the line in my books, anyways. Um, I see APCs all over the place. They are. I totally recommend them to get a better backup. And I think if you haven't already done so, you should consider investing in a battery backup. It doesn't have to be a big one, you know, just in your budget. That way, you do have the protection you need for your desktop and some of your your valuable e electronics and stuff that you don't want damaged. So that's all I had to say about that. If you want, stop by our chat room or our live page. We are at macintech.net, M-C-I-N-T-E-C. You can stop by the live page, live.macintech.net, see everybody streaming, get rickrolled a lot, which seems to happen. Hang out in our chat room, which seems to be really active. You know, we have a lot of fun people in there, and we talk about everything. So stop by. Subscribe to our YouTube channel too. Leave comments, send emails to questions at macintech.net. We're here to provide you tech information and how to and make it as fun as possible and as detailed as possible as I could be sometimes. And uh, making sure that you choose what you need to do. That's what we do. We make sure to provide you enough information for you to make the decision on your own to see whether what we're talking about is good enough for you to get and you might consider getting. Which probably didn't make any sense at all. Anyways, we'll chat at you later.